A day after an incognito, Michael was seen strolling and shopping in Aspen with an unidentified young friend. Now Jackson's former videographer comes forward to Good Morning America. I asked, and they answered. And the question that Kristen Robinson posed to Jackson's young accuser, his mother, and two siblings, had there been any inappropriate sexual behavior? Then they were very upfront, and they, of course, said, absolutely not. The 24-year-old, who'd worked for the pop icon for more than two years, was instructed by Jackson to videotape an interview with the accuser and his family after this infamous Martin Bashir documentary aired. During this interview, I told them to speak truthfully probably more than 30 times. They were so resolute in their answers. You know, I'd ask them one thing, and it's almost like they were getting mad at me. Why are you asking us this? This is, Michael is innocent. Some are saying the half-hour tape could be Jackson's strongest piece of evidence during his forthcoming trial. I will tell you this. The family was not coached. There were tears. They were holding hands. They were talking about Jesus and God and Michael as the ultimate father figure. Robinson, who no longer works for Jackson, believes if it wasn't for the Nation of Islam, he'd have been the one videotaping Jackson's post arraignment truck top dance. That was your job. That should have been me. Yeah. You feel that they are, the Nation of Islam is isolating Jackson? Absolutely. Hopefully, it's the closest thing to a jail he'll ever see. American.